Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect PayPal to your QuickBooks. There's two ways you can connect your PayPal to QuickBooks. This way, we're going to go ahead and choose connect account as opposed to the second way, which does not say connect account. This will make sense when we get into it. So let's start by going to the banking on the left. The first step is to go ahead and select connect account. If you already have accounts connected, you'll click connect account in the upper right hand corner. So now in the search box, I need you to search for PayPal. When you search for PayPal, you're going to see a handful of options. What we're going to talk about are the top two. The first one that says connect to PayPal and the second one that says PayPal. The web address is the same for both, but the way they behave is different. So I'm going to start by connecting with the first one. So it says connect your account, uh, more control over the data before it goes into your books. Your accounting is done. Fantastic. I'm going to select let's do it. I'm going to give permission. All right, I have signed in and now I'm going to select go back to Intuit. All right, so the first thing I have is give permission. I have done that. I will select next. The second thing is set up the account. Where would I like my transactions to go? They'll go to PayPal Bank too. If I wanted them to go somewhere else, then I could click this drop down and pick a different PayPal account. I'm going to select Save. I'm going to select Next. And then it's going to ask how far back I'd like to go for the import. I can go as far back as 18 months. So I'm going to select January of this year. I'll select Done. All right, so it does say it could take up to six hours for the transactions to appear. That's totally fine. I don't really care. I'm going to select check it out. So PayPal is downloading stuff and it's downloading it at its own speed. Um, so don't worry about the fact that there's only two things here to look at. What I really want you to see is that this incoming money, the 999, which was really 969 after fees, that it kind of shows up in a different or unique way. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see the gross is $9.99 and the deposit is $9.69. Then you can see that I transferred it to checking. Let me go ahead and, and just click on that horizontal line so that I can show you a bit more. Because I chose to connect my PayPal using the option of connect account, on the left hand side, I have the ability to make a sales receipt, a deposit, or a transfer. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select add. And what this did is it created a sales receipt for me. So let me show you what this looks like on the profit and loss. I'm going to go to reports on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to go to profit and loss. And then down here I can see PayPal sales of $9.99. It just so happens I have sales income of $9.99 because I was demoing something else. If you're ever curious how your sales receipt is going to show up, you can always just go look at it. A very fast way to get there is to click on the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of your screen and then come down to sales receipt. When you open up the sales receipt, you can see your sales receipt here. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions that we can answer, please don't hesitate to reach out. My team and I offer QuickBooks training as well as bookkeeping services. We can be found at gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much.